Hey what is up guys and welcome to another Cav5 tutorial. Today we are going to be doing custom join items, an essential hubs plugin for any lobby server out there. Now what this essentially does is allows for a custom GUI um, on your hotbar which you can use to set up to name items, uh, set them to do commands, and much more. So let's just hop right into this shall we. Now if you go onto the custom join items page there is a bunch of stuff on how to configure the plugin. It's fairly simple for the most part. But instead of just showing you that I actually want to walk you through how to do it. So essentially uh, if you want to know how to install it you'd hit download, download again, uh, it'll come up with a jar, you'd hit upload in your FTP, upload it. It's, it's fairly simple. I will link a video on how to upload Plunkin, Plunkins, yes, plugins in the top left corner of your screen. If you want to click that, go ahead. Uh, so anyway, let's just hop right into the custom join items config. Uh, so once you've gotten that installed, you restart your server and you will get a custom join items folder. This comes with a config.yml and items.yml and a tutorial.txt. Uh, you can ignore that. So essentially, let's get started. Now, I have already set up some items. Uh, this includes hide and unhide players, the ability to go faster, uh, and the, I believe I added one more, rules. I added the rules one. Uh, so essentially, let's walk through adding an item first off. So as you can see, I, I named an item called third item. So uh, let's just start from the top. We're going to go four item. Uh, two spaces name and we want to name this item say uh, let's just do test so we're gonna do add F at L test cool next we're gonna do the ID now the ID will be any minecraft block uh, depending on your server version um, 1.7 uh, most likely because I don't think custom item join items is updated to 1.8 yet so 1.7 and let's go with something simple uh, nether star for example would be pretty simple to go with so that's 399 so we would just simply put that as the ID then for the lore uh, I believe it's two spaces that is it two spaces yeah two spaces then a dash then that and for the lore let's put it at seven this is a test item there we go. So that, we'll just say that's the lore. You can add more lines of lore if you would like. Next for the command. We're going to have it do uh, something simple. We're going to have it do such say. Uh, this is a test. And that's it. The command is set up. You can do any command. Any command at all. You can do a slash give command. You can do things like, for example, uh, what I did was... Uh, uh, where is it? Hide all players. That is a command for another plugin called hide all players, which gives you the ability to hide players. Uh, next is the cooldown seconds, and then we're going to make it five. Next, we're going to do permission. Uh, and for the permission, this is where you'd set a custom permission. It would be custom join items dot, and then whatever you would like it to be. Uh, I'm going to do test. So now you would give this permission note to players if you want them to use this test item. Uh, essentially that is an item that is set up now. It will be item 4. Uh, I believe I also have to set up the slot. Hold on, so let me check that real quick. Yeah, slot. Okay. So for item 4 we're going to do slot. Slot 6. There we go. And now it is set up. So once that is completely set up, you're going to want to go into Minecraft and do KIJ reload. Or is it slash KJI reload? Yeah, or KJI reload. Uh, leave and rejoin your server again. And you will now get the item that you set up, which is test. And if you do it, it says this is a test. So it is completely set up, uh, which is really nice. Now you're going to see it says players vanished. Uh, the default item for vanishing players is the nether star unfortunately so uh, a little bit of conflicting plugins right there but no big issue now I want to walk you through the other stuff I have set up I have an item called sonic fast click to go sonic fast uh, so simply I'd click this uh, it gives me I set it to a walking speed of five uh, pretty easy pretty simple 
Uh, and then I set up another item called normal speed, which puts you back at normal speed again, which is one. Uh, I have an item called hide on hide players. Um, it's a VIP perk. You simply click it, uh, players will vanish. Uh, there's a five second cooldown. Five second cooldown, wait for it. And now players can are revealed again. And one more called rules that I set up. Uh, click here for all the rules of the Featherfall server I'm working on and it'll show with the rules. Uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, you, you have to make sure you give these players the permissions. Uh, so let's just walk you through adding a permission real quick. Uh, the hide unhide players permission. Uh, you'd simply go through here. Uh, I am using group manager so I'm going to add it to my group manager groups and let me find member. That's simple. Uh, now that the member group has it uh, let me just show you, ooh, my bad, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just do uh, man load. This will reload my group manager plugin completely. Uh, then I will want to do slash menu adds guild and Kevin 25 to member. That was very odd. Although it didn't say that it added me to the group, it, it did. I'm not sure why it's not showing the group manager announcements very odd I've never had that happen before anyway I'm now in member groups so now I'm going to de -op myself uh, this will completely remove all my permissions now if I leave and join again as you're going to see I only have one item and this is the item I gave myself permission to use so now when I click it it will work it's a really neat really cool plugin I uh, it's really good for hub servers and lobby servers now, on top of this, I also wanted to show you an update to the Featherfall server I'm working on. This is a default map that I did get from a download, although I am completely upgrading it, editing it, and changing it. Uh, so as you can see, these uh, these three right here, Survival Games, The Last Fight, and Trouble Mineville, they were default. And so, uh, Skyblock has been completely changed. I changed the sign around. It looks a lot better than what it did. And if you enter... I have added all this stuff that you see. Everything that you see in here is completely changed. Uh, and Skyblock. Uh, I actually added Skyblock to the server. If you do slash island. Except I'm going to be making my island into the shop. Uh, because I don't play Skyblock anyway. And that way whenever players want to do this. They can just come onto this island and buy stuff. However. However. I have a really cool shop plugin I am setting up. Shop will show you guys in the next episode. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys.